What's up, everybody? I'm gonna just go ahead and get right into it. If you follow me on Twitter, then you saw my thread that I put basically with me talking about my idea of safe spaces. One of the things that I would like to talk about have to deal with safe spaces and how we navigate those and how we talk about them. It's just me talking, you know, it's not really <laughs> me saying this is what's wrong with our generation and we need to fix this and everybody's wrong. It's really just me coming up and saying, I would like to contribute to the conversation. I feel like I have a voice. I would like to use it and let me go ahead and use it for the betterment of maybe even just my peace of mind. I'm just out here throwing out the conversation. If you want to respond or if you want to go reply to the tweet, um, you can always follow me. I always put the handle down in the description and uh, we can just go for it. Of course, I'm a human, I'm evolving, I'm changing. So um, if you want to quote me, that's totally fine, uh, but don't go saying that Miguel is starting a different doctrine because that's not what I'm doing. Uh, I'm merely just stating my opinion and what I believe. So these next few videos, I do want to say, look, there is a Christian perspective that I want to throw out, but I also want to say, you know, even from a non-Christian perspective, if I have any viewers that are not Christian, or um, or questioning or whatnot, uh, I wanna be able to have a safe space for them too, to be able to watch me and enjoy the video either way. So going to the tweet, I said, you know what? I think we've made allowances for safe spaces um, without truly stepping back and defining good and bad for ourselves. I think safe spaces have been an area when people can just come and throw their opinion out and expect not to get any feedback. The first place from a Christian viewpoint, we expect to be in a safe space and be able to say, you know what, I'm questioning my thoughts, I'm questioning my beliefs, I'm questioning what the Bible says, I'm questioning what God is saying about this, um, or what the church is like, and that's it. Which is fine, I think there's a time and place for us to just be able to say things, get things off our chest, and not really have to get any pushback, but I also want to see more push and pull in these safe spaces, right? So I totally agree that if somebody has doubts or if somebody has has an opinion, that's not necessarily the norm, or it is the norm, but they're afraid to say it. Whatever the case is, people should be able to say things and not be judged or condemned or disowned, thrown out the church, kicked out, whatever the case is. At the same time, there is a right and wrong, and I don't think people should be left in that state of mind, um, especially in Christianity, right? So I think in Christianity, there are what I call objective truths. These are true statements, true beliefs that apply to everyone. Things like Jesus died and rose from the dead. Murder is bad. <laughs> you know, just just things that are, are moral, of course, but even biblical facts. You know, God created us. He created the world. Just things that are true no matter where you go in the world as a Christian. Now, of course, to every truth, there is a bit of nuance. There is a bit of perspective. There are more questions out there than, than there are answers or statements. Some things are right and wrong objectively, but sometimes some things aren't so right or so wrong. Some things are a little bit gray. So what I was saying here is that from a Christian standpoint, there are standards set for everyone. And I think it's okay to question those standards and those standards are nuanced and it, it goes back and forth. I'm mainly talking about just having the conversation, period. I'm not really um, trying to speak on any one particular point. I'm saying a safe space should be a place where we can come and we can say, I'm questioning this. I'm having trouble understanding this. And the other person on the other end should be able to say, I understand, or I empathize. I see what you're going through. Even say, you know what? I was going through that too. Here's what I found. And be able to say, you know, we can have questions and honest skepticism but these standards are set nonetheless, and these are things that we have to follow. The conversation looks a little different for things that aren't necessarily set, that aren't objective truths, you know, um, that do 
appeal to more culture. You know, when we talk about politics, um, when we talk about entertainment, if we're going to talk about the way we evangelize, how the church is set up, there are a lot of things that the Bible doesn't really say. So in these safe spaces, I think, basically to put my point simply, we I think we've forgotten that a, sh a safe space should be a place where we can come together and be free with our ideals, ideas and opinions. But at the same time, we should also be free and welcome in disagreement. We should be free and welcome in, even if it's criticism or questions or be able to explore because two different perspectives won't always be the same. There's always gonna be some sort of conflict. And my definition of a safe space is where that conflict can happen and both individuals walk away without feeling guilty, without feeling judged, ridiculed, but even grown at some point. And it could be that the person pushing back and disagreeing ends up agreeing with the other perspective. We'll never know if that space is not allowed. From a non-Christian standpoint, I think it's, it's a little bit more crazy because there are some things that are morally right across the board but morality is hugely based on human experience and hugely based on society and culture. So there's there's no way we can say, you know what, you're wrong because this standard is set. Like I said, that conversation flows a little differently, but at the same time, I think my answer still stands is like, even in a safe space, if I disagree with your with your opinion about politics, if I disagree with your opinion about even sexuality, I should still be able to say that without being looked at as like I'm a homophobe or being looked at as like I'm a conservative or I'm a liberal or, or whatever in some negative light. I should be able to say things that I believe while you're saying things that you believe and we can just have the conversation together. We don't need to be, it shouldn't be one-sided. This is what I'm saying. I also want to flip it the other way and say, you know what? I want to be able to say things that I think and I want to be able to be in a place where I can receive what you're saying. Even talks with older generations and, you know, they, they tend to have this idea that they know more, which they do. Of course, they know more, they've experienced life more. I'm not questioning that at all, nor am I questioning the validity of their opinions and, and their experience. But I also don't want to get to a point where we discredit everyone else's experience just because they haven't lived through life as much. We're all learning, we're all experiencing. And I think even the older generation have things to learn from the younger. I think we both have things to learn and offer each other um, in this space of being adults. I think we're not recognizing that. And I think that's why a lot of people are saying, you know what, well then, you know, forget what you're saying completely. I'm just gonna keep my opinions to myself and live the way I wanna live. And so the conversations are not happening. We're not seeking advice. We're not being open to your cultural moments. At the end of the day, the conversation, I think the conversation should be had. And I think that a lot of the times the conversations have not been had and it's been a problem. And I think it's good that I'm starting off with this because this is a conversation. I have opinions, you have opinions. The older generation has opinions. The younger generation have opinions. Uh, Christians have opinions, non-Christians have opinions. And I just wanna be able to throw in this bubble and be able to have dialogue without certain people being thrown out of the circle because of what they believe. Safe spaces are fine as long as it truly is a safe space for everyone. And it's not just a safe space for you because you're the one expressing yourself. In some areas, there have to be distinction. And in other areas, there can be nuance, but that nuance has to be explored. It can't just be thrown out there and then let it sit. One of the things I talked about with society and culture, like for a non-Christian, we still have to be able to have a conversation about what kind of values we wanna set for our community, because if we don't have that, then things will go haywire. And it will always be people arguing with each other instead of listening and accepting and, and being able to be flexible with opinions. You know, there's an ebb and flow, there's a, there's a conversation, a communication that happens, and the balance has to be there between I'm free to express myself and I'm also free to disagree with your expression. So anyway, as always, if you wanna check out the thread, it's, it's on Twitter. If you wanna have more of a conversation of always, always, 
comment below. Let me know what you think. Send me a message. Text me. Um, I am open and, well, I try to be open. I'm available. I try to be open and have an open mind of thinking. So, but I'm looking for disagreement too. Like I'm looking for the conversation to happen. I don't think conversations are happening. Um, and I think that's where the most, most growth happens is when things that are nuanced or even things that are black and white are challenged in both directions. Anyway, see y'all, man. Thanks for watching.